Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Well, it felt crisp and cool this morning across the Mid Ohio Valley, but like I said, when I was outside at those stern wheels this morning, that sun was going to quickly warm us up. And that is the case. Right now we're taking a live look here in downtown Marietta. Again, looking at all the stern wheelers lined up on the Ohio River. Yeah, we're back up to around 80 degrees with that humidity starting to move in as well. So that feel like temperature, we are now up into the lower 80s. So we're gonna continue to get warmer and warmer with that increase in southerly winds and that sunshine still around with us. 85 going into Athens and then low to mid 80s further down towards the south. We're also starting to see some pop up showers and thunderstorms further off to our west again, all ahead of that cold front. But for us, we don't expect that chance to really increase until closer to seven o'clock. But here is that cold front and you're going to notice a difference in our temperatures moving into tomorrow. I mean, right now, we're already looking at low 70s into Toledo, mid 70s Indianapolis with upper 60s into Chicago, while we are in that warm bubble of air. So high school football, gotta make sure you have that WTAP pinpoint weather app downloaded because we are looking at that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms through this evening. Even if you're traveling out into Athens for the Marietta versus Athens football game, you also will be looking at that chance for showers and thunderstorms. So it'll be mostly on the scattered side, but when that area and cluster of storms do move through, you also want to be mindful of that chance for some embedded gusty winds as well. But that severe weather threat overall going to be very low. Showers will continue through early Saturday morning, but by around six o'clock should be through. And then we are looking at more sunshine into Saturday afternoon. And unfortunately, if you want anything to really help out with the ongoing drought, well, this is not going to be the case. Our heavy downpour threat is going to be on the isolated side. So most of us may only pick up a tenth of an inch of rain, but you could still see that isolated spot with close to an inch of rain, really depending on where those storms push through. But that cold front bringing a huge difference. We are going to say goodbye to those low 90s. We'll see this afternoon. Again, a lot of sunshine through the day, but increasing cloud cover, that storm chance increases after 7 p.m. Tonight, we'll drop down into the 50s, but it gets a lot colder than that. Tomorrow will be into the low 70s with decreasing cloud cover through the morning. Might need those sweatshirt jackets if you're heading out to the Stern Wheel Festival, especially for the fireworks tomorrow because look at those overnight lows. Low 40s, it's gonna be chilly. Sunday, low 70s. But then we're into the upper 80s through the second half of next week. So LV, even though feeling like fall this week,